Hey guys, welcome back. Let me get straight to it. What really happens to your prostate if you masturbate every single day? It's a question a lot of men secretly wonder about, but rarely ask out loud. For most of us, the prostate feels like this mysterious little gland we only start paying attention to once it causes problems. Until then, it stays in the background almost invisible. But here's the truth. Ignoring it or being embarrassed to ask the tough questions is one of the worst things you can do for your long-term health and confidence. So today we're breaking the silence and we're going to dive deep into the science of ejaculation frequency and prostate health. I'll walk you through the three biggest changes your prostate goes through after 40, explain what daily masturbation really does inside your body, and give you a four-pillar action plan you can start using today to keep your prostate healthy for the decades ahead and stick with me until the end. Because one of these tips involves a food you probably already have in your kitchen, and it can act like armor for your prostate. But before we dive in, do me a quick favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and tell me in the comments where you're watching from. I love seeing this community of men supporting each other from all over the world. All right, let's tackle the big question. Is frequent masturbation dangerous? You've probably heard some of the myths, maybe from locker room talk, maybe from late night internet searches, things like... Daily masturbation wears out the prostate. It causes inflammation. It increases cancer risk. No wonder men get anxious. After all, prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers among men. But here's where the science flips the script. A landmark study published in European Urology followed thousands of men for nearly 20 years. What they found was shocking. Men who ejaculated more frequently, around 21 or more times per month, actually had a significantly lower risk of prostate cancer compared to men who ejaculated only four to seven times per month. Let that sink in. The very thing many men were told to avoid turned out to be protective. For those of you who are new here, I'm Dr. Nora Hayes, a board-certified urologist with seven years of experience helping men protect their prostate health, maintain vitality, and live with confidence well into their 60s, 70s, and beyond. And let me tell you, I've seen firsthand how myths about the prostate keep men suffering in silence, when the truth is, you actually have more power than you realize. Now let's talk about what's really happening inside your body, because once you understand the biology, everything starts to make sense. Here are the three major changes your prostate goes through after age 40 and how daily ejaculation fits into the picture. Change number one, enlargement and fluid retention. The prostate naturally grows with age. This is called benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH. It's not cancer, but it's the main reason men struggle with urination as they get older. Here's the biology. As the prostate grows, it presses against the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of your body. This explains the weak stream, the stops and starts, and that frustrating feeling of not being able to fully empty your bladder. Now, when you ejaculate regularly, you're essentially flushing the prostate. You're clearing out old fluid and reducing the buildup that can make that pressure and inflammation worse. Emotionally, this means less of that constant discomfort and more peace of mind. Practically, it means fewer nights waking up three or four times just to pee. Change number two, hormonal shifts. As men age, testosterone gradually declines. At the same time, the body starts converting more of that testosterone into a stronger hormone called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. Here's the kicker. High levels of DHT fuel prostate growth. It's like fertilizer for the gland, making it bulkier and more likely to cause trouble. Frequent ejaculation may help balance some of that hormonal environment by keeping cellular turnover healthy and reducing stagnant buildup inside the prostate. And beyond the biology, here's the emotional side. Balanced hormones mean steadier energy, better mood, and more confidence in your masculinity without that constant nagging thought that something's off. Change number three, increased risk of cellular abnormalities. Every day, your prostate cells are dividing and renewing. And every time a cell divides, there's a chance for a tiny mistake, a mutation. Over years and decades, those mistakes can add up. This is one reason prostate cancer risk rises with age, but frequent ejaculation helps reset the system. By flushing out old cells and toxins, you reduce the chance of harmful buildup that could lead to abnormal cell growth. Think of it like cleaning out a coffee maker before mold grows. It's basic maintenance that pays off big in the long run. So now that you understand what's happening inside your body, let's talk solutions. Here's your four-pillar action plan for protecting your prostate. Pillar one, annual medical checkups. This is non-negotiable. Starting around 40 or earlier, if you have family history, you need yearly checkups. That means a PSA blood test and yes, sometimes a quick rectal exam. Is it comfortable? 
Not really. Is it worth it? Absolutely. It could save your life. Pillar two, an anti-inflammatory diet. Your prostate hates inflammation. So cut down on processed meats, fried foods, and excess sugar. Instead, focus on vegetables, fruits, fish, nuts, and olive oil. And here's that secret weapon I promised, tomatoes. They're packed with lycopene, a powerful antioxidant shown to protect the prostate. Cooked tomatoes, like in pasta sauce, are even more effective. Pillar three, consistent physical activity. You don't need to train for a marathon. Just 30 minutes of brisk walking most days can help. Add in some strength training for hormone balance. And don't forget Kegel exercises. Yes, men can do them too. They strengthen your pelvic floor and improve urinary control. Pillar four, hydration. Simple but crucial. Drinking enough water helps flush your urinary system, reduces irritation, and keeps things moving smoothly. Aim for two to three liters a day. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Doc, my body doesn't respond like it used to. And that's okay. Aging isn't a failure, it's biology. What matters is how you adapt. Daily masturbation, when done gently and mindfully, isn't harming you. It's helping. And combined with healthy lifestyle choices, it can be a powerful tool in protecting your prostate. You're not broken. You're not alone. You're simply in a new season of life that requires a slightly different playbook. So let's wrap this up. What happens to the prostate of men who masturbate every day? The science is clear. Far from being harmful, it may actually help protect you by flushing toxins, supporting healthy cell turnover, and reducing long-term risks. But remember, it's just one piece of the puzzle. Pair it with smart nutrition, regular exercise, hydration, and checkups. And you've got a formula for staying strong, confident, and in control for decades to come. If this video gave you clarity, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Tell me, what's one healthy habit you're going to start this week for your prostate health? Gentlemen, your age does not define your vitality. Small changes today can bring you comfort, freedom, and confidence tomorrow. I'm Dr. Nora Hayes. Stay strong, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next video.